Welcome back everyone to the weekly watch list review for the week of December 24th to 28th. So we had um, some pretty solid hits on the watch list this week. So again, be sure to click below, go to stocksandtrade.com forward slash watch list. The link is below. It's a free watch list every week in your inbox on Sunday with some of the most potential big movers of the week, as well as some kind of longer term swing type ideas. Now, last week, killer, killer week for pretty much everything across the board. This week, we had a couple volatile stocks that we nailed. I'll go over those here in a second. And then did have some swing trade ideas, some more blue chip stocks that we were kind of thinking that maybe the market could bounce and they would go somewhere in the end. Kind of a flat week for the higher priced uh, higher quality stocks. Really, the th the theme of this week was the low priced, low float stocks with news moving on big volume. We had we had some big movers this week like Watt, um, VTVT today, as well as two of the stocks on the watch list. So, one of the reasons that I think you know a lot of the higher quality stocks, the blue chip chip stocks were pretty choppy is, you know, in the at the end of the day, they kind of, you know, they, they typically follow the market. And you can see, here's a five day chart of the SPY. And we almost closed, you know, here we are Friday afternoon, 4pm. And we close almost exactly where we opened, you know, Monday morning at 930. So what does that tell you? Choppy markets. We had a couple down, you know, on the Dow, down 700 days, 700 point days. Wednesday, we had an up 1,000 point day. So really just a lot of chop across the board. So just take that into consideration. Um, if you're trading the higher price stocks, like the Apples, the Microsofts, and the Facebooks that we had on the watch list, don't be surprised if maybe you get chopped out or you get bored out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a short-term trader and, and it's easy to see these things track sideways and, and ultimately just get kind of bored out of them. So the hope is that we will have some more volatility going into the first of the year. Um, we'll see. Obviously, New Year's Day is Monday and then we're closed next Tuesday and then we're back on Wednesday. So it's a little bit of a different week, much like it was this week. And because of the different week with the uniqueness of this week was we had Christmas Day on Monday and then an early market close at 1 p.m. Then we were closed for Christmas Day on Tuesday and then back on Wednesday. So really looking ahead, the focus was on some of these stocks that we thought could be volatile in these low volume days. Ultimately, Christmas Eve, a lot of traders are off for the day. You know, a lot of the big boys, the hedge funds, they're not, you know, they're not trading on Christmas Day. You know, they're, they're probably taking the day off. Even a lot of the, you know, the day traders like us, a lot of them still last minute Christmas shopping, spending time with family. So it wasn't surprising that the focus was going to be on these recent squeeze plays. And in the end, they both worked out great. So the first stock on the watch list from last Sunday was MRIN. And the plan was exactly what it did. I mean, this stock was strong into the close. Let me bring up a 10 day chart real quick so I can see, I'm show you on Friday. So Friday would have been the 21st. You can see, um, you know, the stock basically closed pretty strong, really at the high of the day at 10. And then we were looking for that weak open, red to green type move. And then you can see on the 24th on Christmas Eve, stock opened weak, opened red on the day, and proceeded to go from nine to 12. Now, crazy volatility, big moves. You can see 
that this stock went from three to 12 and it's back to six this afternoon. So they make big moves, but those days, days like Christmas Eve, when there isn't that much volume out there, um, these are the stocks you look to trade. You can see this thing breaking above those Friday highs at 10 and you still had two bucks of upside. So now when they turn, they turn quickly. But make sure you understand the type, the setup. I mean, I mean, MRIN, go back to the watch list, check your email. This was this is not a you know air quotes good company. This is not an investment. We saw the potential for a squeeze because it closed at the high of the day on Friday and the shortened session on Monday. UXIN, in essence, a duplicate. Um, same type idea. This thing closed near the high of the day on Friday. A ton of short sellers were trapped on this because um, there was a lockup. Some shares were coming unlocked on Christmas Eve, kind of a unique time, but it is a you know a, a, a foreign listed stock. So I guess it's not unusual that shares would come unlocked on a holiday. Nevertheless, when you get a stock that everybody wants to drop and it closes at the high of the day on a Friday, and I know I'm being a little repetitive, but MRIN and UXIN were basically mirror images of, of, of the, the trade idea. What do you get on Monday, that week open? It spiked from eight to nine early, got a little choppy through the day, but then into the close, uh, which would have been noon. You know, this was roughly noon on Monday because of the early close, proceeded to hit a new high day at nine and then closed at 9.75. So um, MRIN was probably the better less choppy idea, but ultimately UXIN did follow the plan. Then let's go over our blue chips. Ultimate, you know, kind of not much to report here. As I mentioned in the opening statement, Microsoft, still believe in Microsoft, like that it held on to 100 in a choppy week. Um, as long as this thing can hold on to 100, I think, you know, there's a good potential for this to kind of keep on grinding up into the new year. Um, Facebook is another one. Facebook actually did all right, um, you know, considering the news flow. Uh, if, you, if you follow the news, it seems like every day there's bad news on Facebook. Um, a lot of, I think, you know, uh, outrage about uh, privacy issues. I really don't think it's, um, you know, as day traders, as people that follow the news, you see this all the time, in my opinion, you know, Joe Public, Jane Public, they don't really care about, you know, whether or not Facebook is sharing their data. Um, now, you might care, I might care, but I think, you know, whatever the billions of people that are on Facebook, by and large, they don't care. And I think that, you know, in the end, it won't, you know, this will blow over, won't affect Facebook's numbers. I think this poll is short term. And you can see, started the week at 120, closed the week at 130, pretty much at the high of the week. So not bad when you consider the, you know, the horrendous news flow. There was another article today. So, and then the last one, Apple, it is what it is. Um, did close up on the week, 10 bucks a share, but not really what we look for, you know. To be a stock on our watch list, we want extreme volatility. We want to end the week up, you know, you know, on, on, on a $150 stock. We want to see it up 20, 30, 50 dollars a share. So um, so overall, a decent week. Go back to those watch lists, MRN and UXIN played out to a T for squeezes on Monday. Had to be quick. You had to be agile, but the idea was there. Um, choppy markets kind of chewed up the other three picks. So have a great weekend, everyone. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great New Year. And again, be sure to click below. Watch list is free. You'll hit, you'll get it this Sunday. And have some solid ideas. Um, one of my favorites right now is I'll give you a sneak peek to this weekend's watch list. Um, AUPH, 
We uh, spotted this on Stocks to Trade Pro. I do twice daily webinars. I just got done with one. It's been a while since we've seen a nice looking 52 week breakout like this. Um, was excited to see AUPH. Former runner, broke out of this triple, maybe even quadruple top type pattern. Good volume, 2.4 million shares. That is what, the fourth highest volume in a year? Nice move today, close at the high of the day. Again, check out stocksoftrade.com forward slash watch list, and I'm almost positive AUPH will be on there. So have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.